Just Battle, Just Educational Enough. I'm Justin. I'm Adrian. And today we're doing a very quick accuracy test in our state of the, state of the art Make Test Battle Laboratory, a car park. The weather here in Melbourne at the moment is uh, pretty, <laughs> yeah, it's raining, it's very windy. It's, it's colder than a witch's tea. Uh, and so... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's a thing! So, we, uh, this is the quickest place that we could find with controlled environment. And so today, we're going to be testing the accuracy of the new Worker Prophecy Type R against... Yeah, an ex-Zeus. This one's got a few bells and whistles, but essentially it's an ex-Zeus. Let's see how it goes. And we'll also be testing the ex-Zeus with a scar barrel. And we'll also be testing between two types of darts. The new Worker Dart. Woo! And uh, the cheap sweet oranges that you can get on Lytake and uh, gear best and that. These are around everywhere now. Oh. They do make a whizzing sound. Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh, there we go. Oh. I don't know if this is user error or me. Hang on, so Adrian thinks he can do better. So how many did I get? I got four on the paper. I haven't got one yet. Wow. There you go. Are you aiming for the lower sheet now that's moved? Not moved for the parking side. Do we need a gun vice? Do we need a gl gun clamp or yeah. something to... Well, this is a lot further than the challenge. The challenge was 10 to 15 metres. This is 17 metres. Well, did he say 10 or 20? He said do 10, do 15, and it's claiming accuracy up to 20, but the test was 10 Well, that's pretty accurate. Let's try the sweet orange darts and see how they do as well. Veered like crazy. Okay. Whoa. I'm trying. Oh, so close. Damn it. <laughs> that is there. Um. Hmm. So, Worker could be a more accurate dart. Yeah, so that is without a scar barrel. Yeah. So that was the Sweet Oranges without a scar barrel from this. Oh yeah, we also just for... For, for, for full... Yeah. Ah, ah, for full disclosure, we took the spacer out. So this would be with, with the spring and the intended mod. So this is without spacer and that's like without that. Yeah, so, so again, 17 metres yeah. shooting about half an A4. It's, it's an A4 the other way, but a lot more consistency. Like I felt like the darts were shooting straight and it was my error maybe, but unless we get a gun vice. So like I got four with the, the workers. Yeah. Yeah. However, with uh, the sweet oranges. You got one. Yeah, and I felt like it was more like three or four that were actually where I was aiming, whereas like, three or four hit the roof. Yeah. With these, they were all heading roughly in the same direction. So this is my Exus. We'll get a better look at this another time, but we'll be shooting the same test. We won't be using the EOTech. I'm going to unclick that. Justin's turn. I'm actually trying to use the side. The other one doesn't have one. I know. <laughs> well, we should take that one off then, but... Oh. Grab that dot really quick. I think she I know what it is. That one's fishtail. I don't see anything particularly different about it, so I don't know, maybe. I do. What's up? It's not straight. Foam tip is not good. Whoa. 
How many takes? Oh, there we go. Oh, oh that would have been on. Sorry, sorry. Angry first. Oh, do you want to shoot? No, we'll keep consistency. Yeah, but then we'll still get an average of a terrible shooter. <laughs> same test, same distance, sweet orange darts on the Exus. No, Just, no scar barrel. No scar barrel. Justin's still firing for consistency, even though I'm a better shot. Oh. Oh, um, we should probably tell them this is a 10 kilo Nerf curve spring with all metal internals and an artifact hunter kit. And um, metal frank. Uh, metal frank. Metal frank. Tube and plunger, aluminium. Oh. Uh, stainless steel tube, aluminium. We'll, we'll do a video on this. And also a full review of the Exus. <laughs> it's doing the same yeah, thing. Yeah, it's going under the ceiling. I guess this will be a word of note to... Um... Worker darts are actually really good. The new ones. Yeah, the new worker darts. They might be onto something about that. What the yeah, hell? Yeah. What just happened then? I think the head's all off. What's the point? Oh man. To the Melbourne Nerf Wars guys, maybe it might be a good idea to invest in a scar barrel for the sea orange darts. Ugh. Oh. Last one. No. Ooh. Okay, let's let's put the scar barrel on and shoot both material types. Worker darts, Exus, scar barrel. This is a uh, blaster tech. Have you used it before? I have. I've had good results. I think most stringed uh, scars work much in the same way. This is a three-string system, which no, is four. Four. Yeah. No, four. JSPB is a uh, five, I believe. It's anyway, let's see how we go. They seem noticeably slower. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm so close. One. Ooh, arguably two. Oh, this is getting my arm. They are notably slower. Oh. One, two. Oh, hit the black frame. Five. Oh, my arm. How do you use this thing? <laughs> Get good. Oh. <laughs> Be a man. Respect Five. for the Singaporeans Six. and hack crew. Hack oh. Oh. Sorry. You bastard. I'm sorry! Or should we do a whole thing of sweet oranges first? There's no point, I don't think. But you can if you want. Well, I think we should do the sweet oranges just for the Melbourne Nerf Wars guys, so that, because we're using sweet oranges for our loner darts, and because they are really cheap and really available, yeah. I think we well, should... Well, workers are really cheap. How much are the workers now? Sweet oranges, scar barrel and an Exus. I'm basically now aiming top right. And then, it, and then it just went where I was aiming. All right, test done. What do you think? Oh, well, these are the top tier blasters out at the moment, air and wise, and um, they both perform really well. Uh, not a massive surprise. I think there's a noticeable difference between worker darts and sweet orange. Yeah, there is. Uh, thank you very much for joining us in this noisy car park. What do you yeah. think? Um, look, I think we need to probably look at it in editing. I don't know if this is a big enough data set to say definitively, but I am leaning towards the worker darts uh, just by feel. And I am. I don't know, it would this like this does is way more accurate without the scar barrel compared to that. But I don't know would this be even more accurate, but then again you're slowing down the dart, so The I, whole scar barrel debate yeah. is another thing I feel like. Yeah. And right. I don't want to dirty the water with it. I want to more sort of look at this versus that because that's what people are asking about. One thing I did notice after a lot of shooting, 
This is so much lighter. Yeah. I don't know. And Just... easier to prime, even though the spring's heavier and longer. Is it? Yeah, this is an eight, this is a 10 kilo Nerf turf, which is about that long. Okay. Yeah. So what's this one then? Oh, China's it's... China's 20 kilos, but what does that mean? Yeah. And um, how do they work that out? Anyway, it, that's it, like a K26. It is a decent spring. Yeah. I think maybe it might just come down to the ergonomics that the hand grips are in line and so the force, like the vector force is just straight on it. I agree, but I have one more comment. I think the design of the channel of this inner barrel and the, the closeness of the arms, these arms are a lot further out from the sled. Yeah, that's I feel too. like that's uh, more... An, an advantage. Yeah, it's, it's a more streamlined design. Any other thoughts? Not yet. We've got to release this one. I hope this was informative enough for you guys. I hope this like gave you the answers that you might have wanted. Um, I am considering though, we do something even more, more, even more scrutiny, like more accurate. And more science. More science. We've got to be more anal about it, okay? Got to be. <laughs> but I think after shooting this. Yeah, it does feel nice. It's uh, pretty accurate, and I feel like it's reliable enough to it's, be. It's my new favorite blaster. Hands yeah, down. yeah. Link in the description if you would like to purchase the new Worker Prophecy Type R. We've got Amazon links, and I probably also have the uh, Taobao link. But uh, yeah, pretty pretty exciting. Also, that is an affiliate link, so if you do purchase from that, uh, you are directly supporting Make Test Battle. And thank you very much for that. Until next time, see you later. Catch you guys. Damn it, now the noise stops. Ugh. Oh well.